Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games, where we cover everything LEGO gaming, and welcome to the Exploring Hub World series, where we explore the LEGO game hub worlds in each of the games in release order. So we've done the three original LEGO Star Wars games, the first one, the original trilogy, and then the complete saga. So now we're moving on to 2008's LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures, and we're going to be exploring Barnett College, which is the hub world that kind of connects everything in this game together. And uh, you'll notice that there's studs falling everywhere from the sky, and this is what happens in this game when you get 100% completion. It's kind of like a reward. Instead of getting a stud fountain like previous games, you get uh, studs falling throughout all of Barnett College. So just kind of ignore that. Uh, that's kind of what's going on there with all the studs and the hearts flying everywhere. Uh, but So here is the main room of Barnett College. This is called the Main Hall, I believe. And uh, you're going to see these three maps on the wall, and each of these maps corresponds to a different movie so temple of doom uh, you know the last crusade raiders of the rost ark all of that and you can kind of see what your completion is as you scroll over those uh, maps and then here you can select your level by selecting these different points in the map and you can easily tell which uh order the levels are in just by the numbering so you got the first level right here with number one and so on so instead of doing different rooms with doors that you walk into like the previous games here they just have a map which i think is a pretty cool feature so with that being said let's go ahead and go upstairs and uh, it's kind of weird, look, look how the Lego character, like, he kind of has sh trouble almost walking up the steps. You almost have to jump. Uh, but, uh, okay, so there's going to be a room over here on the right. This is the artifact room. And uh, artifacts are basically the mini kits in this game. So each of these uh, little artifacts here is what the mini kits are for each of the levels. So here we have the mini kit for the Lost Temple level. And uh, that's the idol from uh, the first movie. And you got Into the Mountains mini kit. So basically, as you collect the mini kits throughout the game... You're going to be building these artifacts, and then once you build all of them, all of the lights will connect together, and then you'll uh, be able to basically access a secret area. So actually, I think if we do that, yeah, there's a young indie level, and then you unlock all these bonus levels, like the ancient city. That's sort of like the Lego city uh, levels where you try to collect a million studs and so forth. So basically, as you get all the mini kits, you'll kind of unlock some secrets there. So that's pretty cool. You can even set this little, uh, oops, I didn't mean to drop it. I wanted to set the diamond on top of here. And there we go, so there we go, the light kind of connects everything together, and that's kind of how you unlock things in this game. So that's pretty cool with the whole artifact room. It's kind of cool how they give the minikits sort of a use in this game. Whereas before, in like the complete saga, I don't think the minikits ever did anything. Like, you just kind of looked at them after you completed them. Whereas in this game, they actually are kind of tied to the bonus levels, which is kind of a unique feature. So we're kind of moving back here to the main hall, and there's going to be several rooms here kind of off of the main hall. So the first one here on the left is the library. And you kind of have a little bit of a typical library setting here. Again, there's characters that you've unlocked kind of walking around. And uh, very cool there. A couple, a uh, few tables there. And then right here is going to be the character shop run by the librarian. So the, kind of, the characters are kind of on books. So there's Han Solo from Star Wars, which is kind of cool. So this is where you would buy characters as you progress through the game. And uh, it's kind of cool. The shop is separated in this game. So in the previous games, the shop kind of contained everything. Whereas in this game, there's sort of multiple mini shops that have each aspect of what the shop used to be, if that makes sense. So just whereas before you could buy characters and extras all in one place. So this is the, the library is kind of where you just buy the characters. So let's go ahead and move across the hall here. This is going to be an outside courtyard area and uh, you can walk through here. There's some uh, Lego bushes and uh, benches and stuff that you can destroy. If you get to the very end of the courtyard here, you'll reach the art room. And this is where the create a character feature is in this game. Whereas before, in the LEGO Star Wars 2 and the Complete Saga, you had those back to tanks, which was where you create your own character. Whereas here, wow, look at that ugly character, that ugly hairstyle. Uh, here the create your own characters are, are by default called Strangers. Stranger 1, Stranger 2. So they're just kind of on platforms there. They're, I guess it's supposed to be like a piece of art that you're making in the art room. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the create a character in this game. Uh, you can even see the little... Uh, art uh, little logo there on the on the door which is kind of a neat feature so that's the courtyard i like this kind of outdoor area that kind of connects everything together there's some statues back there which are kind of neat uh so let's go ahead and move back in here and we're going to be moving down across the hall to the left this is the classroom and uh, this is where you're going to be typing in cheats so every lego game pretty much has cheat codes so i really like that lego games still have cheat codes even today and uh, here you can look up these cheat codes online and type them in i never really use cheat codes in the lego games they're kind of well, cheating, <laughs> and uh, there, but they can basically be used to unlock extras and stuff early. Uh, but other than that, I don't really use the classroom too much. I like how it's on a chalkboard. And again, that was a feature that would have been just part of the one singular shop in the previous games. That's 
kind of been separated in this game. So uh, here in this room, what is this room called? Is this like the mail room or something? Let me go back in. The mail, yeah, the mail room, okay. That's kind of what I was guessing. So here the mail uh, is in the form of extras. So these are the extras in this game. You got regenerate hearts. Of course you have treasure. Uh, instead of studs, it's called treasure times six, treasure times 10, uh, etc. Disarm enemies. And we have fast fix, secret characters. All sorts of uh, different stuff. Disguises, <laughs> returns from the previous game. Silhouettes is brought back as well. Ice rink, which makes your character like slide around, I believe. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the the red bricks are like red uh, parcels in this game. So the whole mailing system is kind of centered around the red bricks uh, in LEGO Indiana Jones. So let's go ahead and go across the room again. This is going to be the theater. Because apparently Barnett College has a theater, which is interesting. And uh, here is where you're going to be able to watch all the cutscenes throughout the game. So we have clip one. The, the mid-tro for the Lost Temple level, then we have the outro for the Lost Temple level, and so on. So you can scroll through all these. I'm not sure how many there are, uh, but there's probably like over 30, as you can see here. Let's just, let's just go ahead and scroll through them all, see how many cutscenes there actually are in this game, because I'm kind of curious about that. Look at this, over 70, wow. Okay, whoa, 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 let's go back. 78 different cutscenes for this game, and that includes the bonus level cutscenes as well. So as you play through the game, as you play through the game, you're going to unlock more of those. So that's kind of cool how they implemented the theater there. Let's go move across the hallway again to Indy's office. And Indy's office actually has a few Easter eggs here. So if you have a character that can read these uh, these little puzzles along the wall, you can solve that. And then there's also a, uh, what, what would you call this? Like the glass that only uh, screaming characters, like the female characters can scream in this game. That would break that open. And uh, there's also the statue that you need certain characters to solve. So there's just lots of little puzzles here uh, to do in Indy's office. So a very cool room right here. And let's go ahead and uh, move across here. Is that all of the rooms? I believe it is. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I think this is everything. Then back here is kind of just this entrance to the college. And uh, you can't actually go outside beyond that at all. Uh, but that's pretty much going to be it uh, for Barnett College from LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventure. So... Uh, not too big of a hub world, but it, it is interesting how they separated the shop into all those different rooms. Uh, so that's always neat. And of course, I like how they implemented the mini kits into the bonus levels of the game. You kind of access it from there. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of Barnett College from LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures. I'm really hoping we get a new LEGO, LEGO Indiana Jones game with the release of Indiana Jones 5 coming in 2022, supposedly. I haven't heard much more details beyond that uh, with old Harrison Ford and everything. So maybe we'll get like some sort of recreation. I don't think they would remaster this game at this point. I think they would just remake all the levels from scratch, similar to what they're doing with Skywalker Saga. So maybe with that game, we could get like a massive open world Barnett College where you can actually go outside, explore other buildings of the college and things like that. And maybe even go to the different uh, countries and stuff that Indy uh, visits throughout the movies. But that's going to be it for this game. I really like this game. It's really fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys liked it too. So stay tuned for the next one of our Exploring Lego Hub World series. I think it's going to be Lego Batman. The video game is going to be coming up next. So that will be coming out here in the coming months. And subscribe for that. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Do you like Barnett College or other things that you wish they would improve about or change? Do you like how the shop has been sort of separated? Uh, let me know all of that. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.